Hi there, everybody. It is I, Random Robin, and we are back with Paradigm. So, last time we finished building the scientist guy and had a pretty cool entrance for him, I gotta say. And then he shot us up into space to uh, get a bunch of info on Olaf and stuff, so. Uh, now, but we did that right before the end of the last episode, so now we're gonna hit accept right, and he'll take us home. I'm ready to be torn apart by a journey through space and time. <laughs> oh, the cabbage man's head fell off. <laughs> so, yeah, the scientist is looking a little mm, different than yeah. he should be, but... Here's the floppy with the info on it. Alright, let me suss this out on the computer. <laughs> so, what's the deal? Okay, so the basic rundown is... He's a genetically engineered slot, but uh -huh. they couldn't remove all his natural instincts, which include doing nothing all day and chilling on trees. Like a stoner? <sighs> no. <laughs> Like a sloth. Also, anyway, I hope everyone's doing good today. Done staying healthy and jokes. safe and if having a good day. If you could get a tree near him, it'd probably ignite his instincts. A oh. five meter tree would probably do fine. Oh, it is a I have that instant tree. journal I published on it. Oh, I have the instant tree. <laughs> the plan, get five meter tree. Oh, oh I'm not gonna... sure you understand what peer reviewed means. <laughs> you watched me as I drew it. Peer reviewed. And what the hell? <laughs> a five meter tree? What other choice do you have? Let's be honest. This place has a bunch of messed up stuff going on. Just look at me. Go we'll find some solution. True. But you'll also need to get inside his room. The door is locked. Only the leader of the church will let a glim goes in there usually. He has a oh. necklace that lets him in. You'll need to get it off him. Great. So I need to go I meet the leader of the church. Things. Nostalgic about his wrestling days. And he loves JRPGs. I'll put it on a piece of paper too, so you can remember. <laughs> Steel Glam Cult Leader's Cross Remote. Thank you for betraying your employer at the drop of a hit. Hey, no worries, man. <laughs> I am a man of integrity, with a crippling nice. addiction to free-to-play, food-based MMOs. Which was probably going to get me fired at a moment's notice. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Worth it. Once you get the stuff paradigm, I should have a plan to take down Olaf ready, so hit us up when you do. Man, I'm never going to get to finish my EP. What the hell? So, you finally decided to open Mysterious Hedge. Too bad I've already met another Hedge. <laughs> We're doing great. No. No, stop. You're the one I've always wanted. What are you for real? <laughs> Yo, Paradigm, by the way. Yeah? That's where they keep all the faulty prodigy children. Your brothers and sisters. Kind of. You can check it out if you like. Might be super weird and traumatic, but whatever. Do what you want. I'm not your mom. <laughs> I guess that was pretty insensitive since uh, you were grown in a vat. I'm just gonna uh, wish you luck. That's what people do, right? <laughs> so what, what have I gotten? Oh yeah, his plan. Before I do that though, hang on. I have... I need no, to... no, no. Hang, no, stop it. Okay, hang on. Map. No, no, no. We're going, we're going to one place in particular first. I want to go right here first. Me and this cupcake have some unfinished business here. I want a goddamn cupcake. <laughs> I would like to purchase a cupcake, please. Sure. Do you have cash, membership, or a coupon? Yes, actually. Uh, this pegs membership card. Yes. <laughs> Leave in the coupon. Take Leave in the coupon. My favorite is alkaline flavor. Oh. Screwdriver flavor. I think I'll take screwdriver flavor. I'll take this one. A fine choice, sir. See ya. I'll peruse your cupcake selection. Convenience right. screwdriver this isn't cupcake. A cupcake library. Okay. I'm not sure this is the greatest flavor, but it's probably the most practical of the three. 
So now I should have a screwdriver? As much as it is a big waste of a delicious cupcake, I think this screwdriver will be more handy. There we go. I've gained a screwdriver. Now, before I go anywhere else, I knew I, knew I wanted to come back for those cupcakes. Because for the most part, most items in my list here are going to be used one way or another. So now I need to go to the lab. So there we go. We're making progress. <laughs> I got a little lost uh, before the end of the last episode. All right, let's go to this basement. Whoa, what the hell? Mutant Mole People Con 2026. Honored responsibilities. Ignore the responsibilities and emotion storage. Um, how do I go down? Oh, there we go. What the hell? Vault. Oh. Shit. God damn, Geometry Gate is always blocking dank entrances. Most people think they are from Crusher's radiation problem, <laughs> but it's just a gross misuse of selective breathing. Just gotta smack him a few times. Smack him? Wait, sma what am I smacking? Okay, I'm guessing he wants me to use something in my list here, screwdriver. Hey, what do I smack it with? Billy's head? Wait, yeah, how do I... Oh, there we go. This is a trippy thing going on here. Welcome to the live art installation of the Forgotten Prodigy Children. Oh my god. Help yourself to the free wine and nibblies over there. Well, thank you. I can't just take the only thing that might actually tempt someone to come to this art exhibition. <laughs> that would be immoral, but delicious. <laughs> the art exhibition? I think this piece means that fish which have feelings taste <laughs> much better. Thus, you should take them out to dinner to get to know them first. <laughs> then proceed to have them for dinner. That's hilarious. Can I talk to it? Hello, fishman. Are you more of a man or a fish? Maybe you go by manfish instead. Maybe boyfish. Ladyfish? Fishfish. <laughs> man man? I give up. Okay, so fish man don't do shit. How about apple person? What is the meaning behind your performance art? You're supposed to interpret it yourself. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's too smart for anyone to guess. Especially a pleb like you. Couldn't work it out in a million years. First, you need to know the context. Mm -hmm. Alright, so me with this apple... Zone out. <laughs> and that was the shortened summary. Uh, wait, what? Were you even listening? If someone wants uh, to read that big old yes. paragraph, they can pause. Okay. Uh. What is this place? It's the hottest exhibition in all of Krush. Looks more like a dank dungeon prison to me. Yeah, <laughs> to some regular art pleb like you. Come on. Look at the mood lighting. Don't lie to me. That's definitely dank dungeon lighting. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. It's an art exhibition which happens to be in a dungeon prison where Dupa Genetics keeps all its faulty prodigy children. <laughs> Just between you and me, I think some very rich art collectors are coming down here soon. People mm. are starting to realize the appeal of dungeon prisoner art. Dungeon prisoner art. <laughs> um... 
Let's kind of move Can it along I ask a little you bit. Something else? Sure. Preferably about me and my art, though. Um. Okay. Uh... Bye, pleb. Okay. I don't know if I need. How about hammerhead? I believe this is a piece commenting on how construction workers are slowly morphing into their tools because mm. of a curse which is cast when they were kicked out of the union. Never take away witches' rights for five weeks paid vacation. I see a bolt over there. I'm just gonna kind of cut out the middleman here. Mm, I need a small flathead screwdriver, not a oh, Phillips. Oh, wait a minute. God damn it. This would be a good time to become a blacksmith. I still regret not taking that chance at the Renaissance Fair last year. <laughs> I already have the idea. Hang on. Make this flat for me, would you? I'm kind of impressed that they're actually hitting the wall that hard. <laughs> Nothing like risking brain damage for the sake of art. Yeah. Okay, now it's a flathead. This is kind of a dark, evil dungeon looking place. Ah, oh, god damn. It was a cover for multiple screws. Deep, I know. It really isn't. Damn it. This flat screwdriver is too big for these smaller screws. If I was a magic user, this wouldn't be a problem. What if I... take it back to you? Come on. You're better than this. Okay, no, but I think I know where to take the screwdriver. So, what about... I'm guessing I want that skull. Man, that skull likes to live dangerously, on the edge. I totally want to party with that skull. No parting with the skull! I'm guessing I'm gonna take her keyboard, dude. What is going on over here? Okay, so I'm guessing out of this room, I want that skull. Can I use toilet? Otherwise, I think I know what to do with the tiny Pretty sure that guy over there winked at me. I'd like to use a toilet where I don't get winked at. <laughs> Is this too much to ask? Alright, so let's go ahead and back out of here real quick, because I think I know how to make the screwdriver smaller. I no, that's not what I want. Alright, hang on. Eh. Cause I can come back to the dungeon now anytime I want, I'm guessing. Yeah. Can I use the, the screwdriver on the shrinking flowers? Thank God magic does exist. <laughs> it's like a baby screwdriver now. Okay, there we go. Now I go back to the dungeon. And then we take screwdriver. Ha ha! Suck on that tiny screw. No, do the thing. Thank you. By destroying this performance art, do I become a part of the performance? <laughs> or is life just one big performance for interdimensional beings? This is deep. We will never know. Unless you join a cult that claims otherwise. <laughs> Oh. Did I just murder someone? <laughs> what? That's a relief. I should have thought more about the consequences. I probably <laughs> could have just asked nicely and got the soil that way. Oh. Instead of risking manslaughter. Wait. Oh, I didn't even notice the soil. I skipped a step. Well, thanks for, uh, thanks the, soil. for the nutritious soil. I guess that's for my tree. Um... You know, once I painted the bowl of fruit... <laughs> okay, I got what I needed here! So I need this and the tree to defeat Olaf, gotcha. Okay, hang on, we need to go to the uh, Glamrock Church now. Uh... Church... Oh, oh! Uh... A metal messiah! Yeah! 
Yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, please be a beautiful creature uh, like the rest. <laughs> it's a little pug! <laughs> oh my god, it's a pug with glam metal hair! This is beautiful! Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him! Oh, please, let me go talk to him. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Let's fucking go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, he's just gone. <laughs> pug. Let's go out. Let's go talk. Let's go look at the little pug. <laughs> Hell yeah! It's the Glam Metal Messiah. The Glam Metal Messiah. Welcome, my son, to the Church of Latter Day Glam. May what? your air be fabulous, your pants be tight, and your excess be excessive. <laughs> what is it you ask of me? Uh, your hair is glorious. Can I touch it? Your hair is glorious. Can I touch it? Are you a groupie? I can be. I don't think so, dude. Damn it. <laughs> look at that pug. I love it. Aw, oh, look at those cute little widow boots. Aw, look at those cute widow boots. I know you're trying to be demeaning, but yes, they are cute widow boots. Bruh. Comfortable too. This is the most badass pug ever. How did you become the messiah of a glam metal cult? Well, I was one of the world's most famous wrestlers a while back. <laughs> my stick was that I was a singer from a glam metal band. My fame led to a life of excess, naturally. I did a lot of drugs. <laughs> and acquired new diseases that people didn't even know existed. <laughs> <laughs> I got to name a few. It was pretty cool. Nice. Anyway, long story short, I obliterated my body. And here comes this duper genetics guy. And he offers me a new one if I run his glam metal cult. Cool. Would you get more chicks if you're a cult leader? <laughs> what you fail to tell me is they don't yet have the tech to grow me a new body. So they put me in a pug temporarily. Brutal. Honestly, now I'm considering going half pug, half human for my final form. <laughs> for his final form. Do you practice what you preach? Do you have a weakness? Uh... Let's go ahead and just get to the hey thing. Hey man, uh, can I borrow your necklace real quick? What? Why? Yeah, just to get rid of Olaf so he doesn't murder me. Dude, he's my primary source of income. <laughs> How am I supposed to afford this life of excess if you kill him? You think all this sex and drugs grows on trees? How about if I just pick some sexual favors from the local birch tree? <laughs> Look a big redwood for my Wednesday LSD trip. <laughs> How about I tie a tree vine around my neck and hang from a tree while I mass- Actually, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> anyway, no. No, you cannot. Oh, wait, yeah, he likes RPGs. What if I challenge you to a little bit of turn-based combat it. for it? Hmm. Being a huge JRPG fan, I cannot refuse. <laughs> what do I get if I win? I'll condition your hair every six hours. You know how to tickle my little dog nipples. <laughs> uh, what's with everyone's obsession with nipples around here? This is great. Oh my god, it's doing an RPG fight. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> the, the look of sheer bliss behind my mask right now, I don't think anyone could even imagine how joyous this is for me. <laughs> uh, it boost, defense, do I just have an item? Oh yeah, laser pointer. <laughs> you think 
you can defeat me? Quick. Time. Event. Wait, what? Look at him go! <laughs> Look at him go! Oh! I remember the laser pointer from way long ago. I knew it had to be for some kind of animal. <laughs> Dogs and lasers are funny. Turns out spending half my life procrastinating helped me out. <laughs> Better go get that necklace remote thing. That was the best character in this entire game, and no one can tell me otherwise. Okay, and I think I can go battle Olaf now. We're good. I think I need to go to the lobby. So this looks like the finale. I kind of rushed it here at the end, but... I guess I need to use the lobby. Um, and then... Did I miss some steps here? Do I need a pot for that tree? Wait, hang on. This... It's not the door. This is also... Man, I... Hang on one second. Is there a... Re Can I now finally have the little fake tree pot? Nah. Duck thing, but which... My was too bad. Cause am I just gonna slap the soil on the ground and plant a tree? That doesn't make sense. Or do I put it in that cup? That make Maybe. Alright, let's just go back to the lobby and go for this. Uh, look at... This is crazy. That glam metal pug was the coolest thing about this game so far, and I dare anyone to try and challenge me about that. <laughs> Alright, so let me bring out this, and I'm uh, guessing this. I better talk to the rebel leader first. Last time I... Ugh. Oh, okay. I might not be quite done yet. Alright, let's see. I need to... Okay, I need to go back to the lab first. Okay, now we gotta go talk to Girlie. Again, she's the most human character in this game so far. Can you tell me about the text? Uh... I've got all the stuff to take down Olaf. Congratulations! All right, so the master plan is, uh, to be honest, I was just thinking about what I was going to eat for dinner. <laughs> Hang on, the advisors tell me that they actually do have a plan. All right, so all you need to do is walk in there and plant the seeds. The advisors actually went in there earlier and made their mark on the carpet. They say that's probably the best place. <laughs> if they went in there already, uh, why don't they just do it? Look, something something destiny. You got to do it yourself. <laughs> something something destiny. All you need to do is go to the lobby, get through the last hallway, and then you're at his lair. Then you take down Olaf. Dupa genetics goes into liquidation, and none of this taking over the world stuff happens. Uh. Next, we'll throw a shindig. We'll all be happy. Going to be some super dope cheese platters, by the way. Nice. Cheat. How good is cheese? How good is cheese? Anyway. Good luck, Paradigm. You're our third hope out of four. You mean there's more of me? Not exactly. You're just our third plan. First plan was an internet petition. They never work. And <laughs> yeah, we already had another mutated prodigy child come through here. Uh, we won't talk about that. Oh, God damn it! Time to <laughs> never finish my electronic music album and continue procrastinating. I, I mean, uh, save the world from one genre of music and entertainment. <laughs> Alright, so now let's go to the lobby and go finish off this game. <laughs> I gotta say, I thoroughly enjoy this game's dialogue, but I did kind of feel I was near the end, so I've decided to just book it for the end. Alright, let's go. Good. Great. Fantastic. Couldn't have opened the regular door. 
Now I'll have to find some oil and lather it on my naked body <laughs> to squeeze through. Nudity is allowed. However, oil is where duper genetics draws the line. <laughs> the punishment is remedial massage till death. Nice. Damn you and your conservative ways. I'll have to find another way. I already have the solution here. There we go. Oh, I can choose to uncurse myself. Gotcha. Yeah, I already figured I'd be tiny for the tiny door. Oh, wait, are we not almost done? What the hell? Better on shrink than Gardi Imbecilius. What is all this then? Wait, can I even- I can't even interact with all that, can I? Oh. Thank you for completing the full version of Paradigm the Game. Uh-huh. We hope you had a great time and you had a lot of fun. Oh, I sure did. If you would like to continue playing Paradigm DLC, we need more money. The Kickstarter was not enough. <laughs> Please input your credit card number when the time prompts. Uh-huh. Unlike the full version, the DLC is paid at point and click. <laughs> Please purchase the 20,000 clicks now for the low price of 29.99. 20,000 clicks for 20 for 30 bucks. Play our ad free to play version. All you need to do is press the ad viewer button 10,000 times. Thank you very much, brother. Oh man, I don't have a credit card on me. However, what I do is any Bitcoin is credit card antivirus games. All I need is a phone and a number. Oh, I got this. Hang on. Uh, hello? You are not permitted to be here. Oh, jeez. No one is. Not even me. Well, I am actually. But <laughs> I wanted to drive the point home. Anyway, leave. Otherwise, Nips I will grow. Oh my God. awkwardly linger till you leave. Well, uh, you see, I get mad crazy stage. It's a super strong solvent. I sometimes sell it online for a hefty sum. It's like soap for robots, <laughs> but it comes out of my butt. Okay, so I can't do the thing with her looking at me. It's glued to the floor. I don't even. I guess it's payback for all those times I glued money to the floor at shopping centers and laughs. <laughs> Can I use this to get wrench? Knife spoon is destined. What is that? Shoe? Can I pick up the shoe? Hopefully some beer turns up. Get my chug on. Okay, I got the shoe. Now how do I... Maybe the screwdriver? This is not a cute tiny screw. Hmm. Can I put the billy head on the water heater? I feel billy does... Or at least... No. Okay, hang on. There's got to be a way. Uh... You're just smashing things together. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I'm gonna make you so dirty. Uh, maybe not. I should probably say this for the fit. Okay. So how do I... Check this out. I'm glad to see that they bothered to set up maintenance. Even if it is a talking water heater with no way of repairing anything. <laughs> Who's making these decisions? Okay, can I use it? Well, uh, the maintenance person is currently staring at me. I'm using it to its full potential. Can I talk to the water heater? 
Are you sentient water like the rest of the robots? So it looks like we have yes. one more thing to worry about. Originally, I was a water heater. It was a pretty good gig. There's nothing like making people hot and wet. And I was <laughs> damn good at it. But then Jupa Genetics needed more workers. Too many work accidents, you know? Anyway, it's not too bad being the keeper. I'm a pretty chill person. Funny, considering I'm a heater. Anyway, <laughs> you should leave. How do I murder you like the rest of the henchmen? Uh... How do I murder you like the rest of the henchmen? Well, you see, you just... Uh, hey, wait a minute. What? You should leave! <laughs> Uh, let's see. How do you feel I'm about assuming the she's gonna give me something. Plan? Lukewarm, frankly. I like neither wrestling nor glam metal. However, I heard that their education policies are some of the greatest ever made. Super. What is this place? It's basically where we grow and store all the prodigy children we have. What do you do here? Me? I tend to the broken equipment and general maintenance. Mm. I'm pretty bad at it, on account of having no arms. The main reason I'm here is to send out the shop orders. They rigged up a button I can just roll on. It's effing sweet. I'm basically a baby maker. Do you even know how babies are made? <laughs> yeah! When 100 people love each other very much, <laughs> 100 people in the upper limit, they mash together their DNA and pay at least half a million dollars for genetic sequencing. Oh. Why would you even ask me that question? Did you ever want to do anything else? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I just wanted to be a part of a family. I send kids to their parents almost daily through that shoot. Sometimes I wish I was one of them, but who wants a half-ton child? No one. Oh, chin up, or uh, uh, dials up, whatever. Though, honestly, just follow your dreams. Hmm, yeah, at least I still have a job to do. Can I ask you something else? So, okay. let's see. I don't think I no. Okay. Okay. okay, so I need her to roll over this button, I think. Wait, what is this? Sliding panel? It's a sliding panel. Alright, let's use it. Oh the panel. yeah, slidey. I think it's the gears connected to the conveyor belt. Oh. Would be a real shame if someone ate a wrench inside your works. Wait, uh -huh. that's not how that goes. So I need that wrench on the ground, but it's stuck to the floor. So how do I remove it from the floor? I'm assuming there's nothing else I need. Like, this is supposed to be the final zone. So what if I... Press 10,000 times to skip puzzle. Death for emergencies. The okay. various crudely drawn six hotline numbers scratching to the side say otherwise. No, <laughs> Bob. I am not looking for a good time. Wait, do I need... I think I need some of her poop. I need to keep an eye behind her. It will melt through my gloves. These gloves are Gukovsky. Gucci's Eastern European cousin. I need to use it with something else. Do I have something else meant for grabbing? Wait, a spoon! Nice spoon. No, okay, then the shoe. Hang on, when that poops there again. Who thought that shoes were such great liquid holders? Okay, so now, hang on. It's burning away the glue. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. All right, hang on. Now, wrench and this. 
I am the destroyer of the gears. If only I existed in a steampunk world. I'd wreck shit up. <laughs> now just to turn the machine on. Would be a real... Wait. So wait, now how do I turn the machine on? Well, uh, the maintenance purse, I'm using it to its... Oh, there we go. So I just wait for her to get sucked up by it. Come on. Personally, I would like to myself, but I still have. Do I need to come hit this again? Hang on. See you what the we turn. There we go. Got her. I really hope the family receiving them will mistake them for a prodigy child. <laughs> they were a pretty nice person overall. Alright, so now, sometime later, oh god. <laughs> Right, Dinner's ready. <laughs> she became a child. Alright, we can now do that phone call thing. I'm glad I kept that glam metal nun's number. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Scamming time. <laughs> oh god, I feel so terrible. The lesser evil. I'm happy with the Ariel. So forbidden love. <laughs> oh my god. So we're, we're, I think we're about to call the old lady and scam her. <laughs> so if Olaf is behind that big door there, that's what we might Hello. be doing. Hello, Agnes. My name is Brian Smith, and I am from Krush National Antivirus and I- Oh, you need my credit card number. I'll give you my credit card number. But miss, don't you want to hear what I need it for? Nah, that's quite all right, young man. You sound very nice. Here it is. Five one two three three one five one oh two two three eleven. Bye. That was easy. Well, that was uncomfortably easy <laughs> with a sprinkling of ethical issues. Oh come on! This is You're making a me worse. Master. Yeah. Level up. Level up. Like this. Not like this. <laughs> Well, now that I've done it, I think I can go do this now. Hey, big sloth head dude. My credit card is 5123-315-12-2311. Congratulations. You just purchased 400,000 clicks. Account balance now, minus $12 million. Holy shit! You will be in debt for approximately... 10,000 years. Oh man, I feel even worse. I guess she doesn't have much longer left. <laughs> Especially within that messed up church. <laughs> Door unlocked. Okay, it's not gonna force me in, right? Okay, cool. So we're gonna call that good for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm guessing the final episode is the next one, so there we go. Uh,. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you have any suggestions for video games, or if you just want to say hello, leave it in the old comments section. And if you haven't subscribed already would like to, that'd be super cool of you. And until next time, have a good one.